So, it's a beautiful sunny day. Today we are as guests at Georgia's. My name is Tess Goblin. This is the third FAMDMC series and I am the FAMDMC CEO. So, let go. I can't wait to see now the creep of Georgia. Ladies and gentlemen, Hi, servus. that's Georgia. Hi. Hast du Kaffee? Ich kann nicht Kaffee machen. Oh, geil. Ja, ein bisschen. Passt. Und du auch so? Ja, es ist kaputt, Minus. Leute. So, so. Na cool. Ich habe schon den Platz oben hergerichtet. Sehr gut. So. How does a day look like for, uh, for Georgia? What do you do when you wake up? Like, what's your. What, what would be, for example, your uh, schedule of uh, waking up? So what do you do first? <laughs> what I do first, actually, I uh, have my coffee. Yes. <laughs> That's the first thing to do. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, I really enjoy reading in the mornings mm -hmm. because my brain is still super empty and fresh. Mm -hmm. And then it's really nice to just sit down for an hour and read something. Mm -hmm. um, or sometimes uh, I have to admit that I'm not uh, regularly doing it but uh, also nice uh, a good way to start the day is meditation definitely mm -hmm. sometimes it depends i like to get up early actually mm -hmm. what is and, early and in summertime it's easier than i wake up without the alarm even like sometimes half uh, half past five or something Ooh, that's nice but only in summer when the daylight now yeah, in winter it gets harder because it's in dark winter you and so sleep, it's then dark, you yeah wake up, it's dark. then i would get up at seven maybe or something what's, like that what's the point of yeah, making yeah, it's super dark and, uh, <laughs> it's cold it's but so yeah so i like to get up early too so i have some time to myself because mm -hmm. um yeah concentration is just the best in the morning to me mm -hmm. and then also it feels really re nice um, when you have um done something uh, at noon already and yeah. you are just like oh, okay the, the worst thing chill. is done now and now <laughs> i can do the other things that are mm -hmm. easier kind of the easier tasks nice so that's what i try and always depends on um, what kind of status uh, projects in the office are having at the moment if mm -hmm. you have a building site going on and then it's obviously sometimes more stressful because you get plans we had to change one apartment completely and um, that's just how it goes so I think that's very exciting and I think there's the saying like um, creativity always comes in when when you come to the point of a problem kind of mm -hmm. because you can plan a lot yeah. but when <laughs> something un unexpected uh -huh. happens then you need creativity really of to course, solve it yeah. and yeah so that's always great and I mean in general you know maybe not everybody is as lucky as me or to have this opportunity to be in the same field as the parents or mm -hmm. something but in general in life it's so important to share knowledge yeah. and to to spread it you know and mm -hmm. because some people are sometimes they hold on to it because they're kind of scared that it goes away or somebody yeah. steals it mm -hmm. but it's the opposite if you share your knowledge and you teach people it's the best thing in the world yeah. and the world gets better yeah. and that's where your actually ideas thoughts plans uh start to get this grounding you know the roots as you said it's a privilege to work with my dad and to have my dad by my side which um yeah, it's a huge safety, help yes definitely. yeah you have this always this backup mm -hmm. and but he would also let me like do a lot do it, by yeah. myself but uh, always be there and so i always knew i wasn't alone in this it's really what you said like the first step is to realize because i mean i'm in this in the music business for 20 mm. years now and it was really crazy because I remember that I actually used to be kind of anti-feminist, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I'm not proud of that. Yeah. But it we was really like, um, it was really like, ah, oh, yeah, I don't need it because I like guys, I'm fine. And they're my friends, I hang out with them. Mm -hmm. It's all good, it's fine. Kind of proud of that the guys accepted me. It really took me long to realize um, that it's not right. That mm -hmm. I was used to being the only woman in the room mm -hmm. and I felt comfortable and fine because I didn't know anything else. Yeah. And also I, re I had the feeling of like this concurrency idea that uh, mm -hmm. another woman would enter and then <gasps> panic kind yeah. of because the focus would, I would yeah, lose yeah. my space. Yeah. And, and then I, I started to think about it and then it came to me like, oh my God, there need to be at least five more women in the room yeah. when we are 10 people inside, yeah. you know, it's like wrong that I'm the only one. The and then um, because 
very um, lately actually I met really other women in business because also there always were other women and I mean I had some friends but definitely they were, they were. but also men never introduced us also really what I love about you and what you're doing with and <laughs> and see that you really always support other people and it was from the beginning or since we met yes um, you were always supporting other women and giving them a chance to grow and to experience mm. things and try out new things and I really like that. That's uh, I appreciate that a lot. That's Thank great you. work you're doing, and Thank um, you. <laughs> it's very important. She's and giving me candies. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's, uh, also that's a part. You know, it's important yeah. to do that uh, in general in life to tell people what you really think and feel, mm -hmm. because sometimes people may be shy about it or something. But yeah. um, why not share it? You know, I think it's we um, this, you know, like uh, especially women, we've been. Uh, working so hard and we still work like maybe double to prove ourselves yeah. in the environment and the most important thing is to understand your world yo I can be myself I don't have to be afraid that someone might um, steal my ideas or someone might copy me because you will be always the original and no matter like what happens that shouldn't make you think that you have to close up yourself to be able to rise and shine. You can shine and share and um, also receive the awareness of we can do this together and we don't have to fight each other and then enjoy the seeds that we planted <laughs> and to watch the, the, the growth, you know? So that's, I would love to kind of develop this and I'm very, very looking forward and I will, I, I feel like that's kind of my part of what I, I have to give to this world and all of us not only the individual because in this individual you have this ego playing uh, and that can 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 you can start to trip around and think you are the shit but at the end of the day what matters is all of us and and I think that's the as Khan says, you know, that's the, that's the, the unique uh, part of, of, of the beauty of life, you know. It's and also like, you uh, cannot achieve anything by yourself, it's not possible. I mean, okay, it depends when you're some kind of special, maybe yeah. performance artist doing it all yourself, but still then, uh, I don't, uh, or a painter maybe can do a lot by themselves or something, yeah, What's okay. But in general, you need so many people around to make something happen. Mm -hmm that it's uh, I don't get this ego thing as you say like you have to get the superstar is not made by themselves you know yeah. there's so many people in the background Behind working the for to making the tour happen to making all these things happen mm -hmm. the merch the, the website um, everything mm -hmm. and it's never just a one person show yeah. and yeah. if we think more about this I think we can um, it's such a beautiful world. I mean, let's yeah. do it, you know, let's just sun embrace is, this. Sun is shining, let's We're just sweet. So actually, I would love to start to, to, to talk another three, four, five more yeah. hours here. <laughs> But we have to uh, to go now to the to the to the main in in interview. Then you will go do then with Bex and another questions. Mm, uh, thank you for for having us. Um, thanks for for being so open and uh, showing us a little bit light of you um, for being part of this also. Um, you ready to to go? Yes, we can move. And thank, thank you guys for having me. It's Welcome. a pleasure. Ladies and gentlemen, straight of intergalactical parliament, this is Farm DMC calling Georgia. Georgia, come over. Darkness is 
Hello, welcome to Fem DMC Queendom. I'm Bex, the hostess with the mostest. Today we have the beautiful, gorgeous, talented DJ Joja. Hey. Hi, <laughs> thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. It's a pleasure to have you here. So please introduce yourself, Miss Joja. So yeah, basically my name is uh, Georgia or Johanna Maya Kieber. That's the <laughs> official part when I'm working in architecture mostly. Wow. And uh, yeah, I'm a DJ for more than 20 years by now. Wow, that's impressive. And also worked in culture and I studied architecture on the Technical University of Vienna mm -hmm. and uh, work with my dad. So basically he's an architect and so it's kind of a family it's business, a, it's a family a affair. Family. It's yeah. a family. <laughs> Can you describe your artist name in three words? In three words? Um, yes, just in three. Give me just a call so I can shave my chocha. <laughs> Wait, wait, what? Wind back, wind back. Rewind, rewind. Rewind <laughs> and play. So no, yeah, no, basically that's where I kind of picked it up from Missy Elliott track. Um, ah. But I don't even think you spell it like that or whatever. But I thought that's cool. And also because uh, I, I really liked for a while to uh, wear a hat and I'm, I'm really into Michael Jackson. And it was kind of the idea also of Joanna Jackson kind of in short for that and it uh, worked well with the Missy Elliott line. <laughs> I, I love all aliases like Joja. I mean, Jackson, JJ, that also has a nice ring to it. <laughs> so, um, how, who or what inspired you to take this path in, in being a creative or music? in general because you said the architectural side is in the family basically yeah. so how did you get in into music. music good question i mean yeah in the family we used to dance together um my parents would put on i don't know um jazzy stuff or pink floyd and things like that um, and then we used to dance together so i loved that and then later on really um yeah, going out a lot. Uh, I really love the dub club, which is kind of, it was my school. It doesn't uh, exist anymore. It used to be a club every Monday night at the Flex. And what I really enjoyed about it was that they had um, a huge range of different styles of music. So every week it was something else. Like you had the drum and bass act, then next week hip hop, then uh, techno or whatever it was. And also, um, so it was run by three people like Sugar Bee, Gumix and Sweet Susie. Mm -hmm. So also it was really cool to have a woman always on stage and see her and enjoy mm -hmm. that. 
I think that was um, yeah very important to me. But also younger, like definitely Michael Jackson was my thing. And uh, I have an older sister, and she had like Massive Attack, Tricky, and Portishead CDs. And it didn't take long that I grabbed them from her <laughs> room and like was constantly listening little to sisters. that. So yeah, little sisters. <laughs> little have sister. a <laughs> it's very nice to have an older sister. <laughs> Were there moments of doubt in in your career? I, I bet there were, but absolutely can, and can always. You describe and describe us like those moments. Definitely, actually, a lot of doubt. I mean, I guess especially as women, um, it's even stronger than that because I don't know along the way. I mean, now I'm lucky that I meet more and more women and mm -hmm. are in touch with more and more women, mm -hmm. but. Yeah, the support is sometimes lacking kind of or because it's not so easy to get into used to be like all these male crews and not so easy to get into it kind of and mm -hmm. get the support of others in a way. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I felt very alone with that in a way to yeah try things out or work together with other people. Mm -hmm. And I mean, always doubt is there. It's still there. And um, always the question, is it uh, good enough? Am I good enough? Is this good enough to put it out? Like also my album, looking back now, I'm still like, okay, I could have done this better and da 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 da. And so there's always going to be doubt, I think. Um, but sometimes it's just important to take a step. Like it was for me really important to put out the album just to, just you know, it. it's a step and the process. And then you learn so much by doing that. Mm -hmm. And then you can move on and uh, there's always doubt. It's I really always have it and it's still there, but kind of learn to live with it. <laughs> and don't worry so much about what other people think, like basically. Now back to the artistry again. Um, how do you get inspired? Mm, life in general, like um, everything. Like um, I mean, yeah, at my crib, as you have seen maybe already, um, I'm just now renovating some parts of it, and it's also for me like important to make my home nicer every day kind of to create really this space safe space for myself that mm -hmm. also That's when you important. live yeah. and spend a lot of time in a space mm -hmm. it's good if it's the way you want it and makes you feel happy and mm -hmm. then you also have more space to get um, ideas and everything because mostly sometimes ideas just all of a sudden come you know out of nothing mm -hmm. and when you relax and really don't want to get anywhere but in general, inspiration by other people and their artwork. And um, is it books? Is it a conversation? Um, mm -hmm. Or can be basically really anything. You just have to open your eyes for the beauty of uh, the world. Where do you see Georgia in five years from now? <laughs> Would you... I, are you still like doing the holes the, on FM4? Yeah, it's FM4. FM4. Can you also tell us more about that? 
after yeah. <laughs> that question. <laughs> yeah, so it's really like now I'm um, preparing for this uh, big exam for the Zivil-Technikerinnen-Prüfung um, to become an architect, really. Like, that's what you need to do to run your own company, basically. Mm -hmm. And so I guess for the next five years, I really want to focus on that because, mm -hmm. um, yeah, to, yeah, to just turn myself into a boss <laughs> or something yeah. and uh, run a business, you know, it's like, with, <laughs> like yeah, it's um, something serious, to be honest, with a lot of responsibility. Mm -hmm. And so I really want to focus on that. So I can't even tell you right now if I'm going to be doing radio in five years because mm -hmm. um, it's also really normal job in a way because you have to be in office from nine to five to, yeah. so people can call you and stuff. And then I don't know if I can handle this, you know, nightlife side of things also too. I love DJing still, mm -hmm. but it's already tough for me sometimes now if somebody books me for a slot at 2 a.m. and I'm like, oh my God, I have to sleep before that. And then I, uh, it's just hard for me. I like to get up early mm -hmm. in the morning. And mm -hmm. so this nightlife thing is a bit getting more and more difficult for me. But I definitely not gonna lose touch with music, I think. Oh, no, yeah, I and I really wanna that. actually yeah. focus more on doing my own music, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and yeah, and and do that really, and maybe perform live things, and really focus more on that than on the DJ and radio kind of side or things. I don't know yet. We'll I'm see. sure. I'm sure where, wherever which path you choose, <laughs> you're going to be amazing. <laughs> Thank you. So, are you ready to get deep? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you think is on the other side of fear? Love. Okay, and why is that? Mm, because love uh, makes you grow, really, and or lets you grow, like real love. Like, mm -hmm. um, it's not about possession. It's really about actually giving without the expectance of uh, getting anything in return and. If you really live that, I think it can grow. It's also there's this kind of saying like um, about actually knowledge and love. It's those things. Um, if you share them or if you divide them, they actually grow. They don't go become less. They actually mm -hmm. become more. And yeah, I mean love. Um, if you yeah, I think it's important to have people around you that make you feel loved and then you just uh, learn to love yourself more also. That's mm -hmm. one important part. Mm -hmm. And um, to just be your true self, that's what's possible then, because it's the opposite of fear. Because fear is holding you back, and fear yeah, is like yeah. making you worry about, um, am I cool enough, am I good enough, what do people think, and da 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 da, and the doubt comes in, mm -hmm. and it comes with fear. And you have two responses really, like um, run away, or like um, flight or flight. fight or flight, flight or exactly. Flight, yeah. And so what's happening with fear is always that actually you pull out your um, the blood and uh, the oxygen basically from your brain more into the extremities so you mm -hmm. can run or mm -hmm, you can mm -hmm, fight. Mm -hmm. And all the other organs get l mm, less oxygen or, you know, so mm -hmm, it's, mm -hmm. um, it's not very healthy to be honest because you lose the power that you need in yourself and in your center, really. And so fear is nothing great. No, no, but love conquers it all. Love Definitely. Love conquers it all. Well, um, now on to the next question. If you could go back to your younger self, what would you tell her? What would I tell her? Mm. Hmm. What would I tell her? Mm -hmm. Or let's just say, what advice would you give to her? Yeah, just less self-doubt, mm -hmm. more self-love, or mm -hmm. like, yeah, giving less importance to what other people might think and, um, yeah, and listen to what you really, I mean, I did that anyway, mm -hmm. so I, I, yeah. I, but there's so many people along the way who like maybe will tell you like, ah, that's not going to work and this is not happening mm -hmm. and you have to do it like this and like this and like this. Don't listen to that. Like, listen to yourself. Like, be you. And Just the maybe I would tell her when I think like, because I did many things um, in a positive way, it worked out mm -hmm. well, but maybe more with, um, actually, actually I would tell her that don't trust everybody. 
easily because I got hurt many times just because I trusted people too much and then they would use it against you or to uh, more be a bit c more careful about who you really let in kind of mm -hmm. because there is some sharks out there <laughs> who well, yeah. don't deserve your attention actually. Yeah. How do you define female empowerment and what does it mean to you? Um, yeah, the, what does it mean to me? Um, yeah, the female goddess says really, uh, mm. I want more of that. I want to, uh, I mean, it's happening and it's great. Yeah, um, because, yeah, <laughs> and it's, it's just beautiful to see uh, more empowerment now happening these days and to like, to embrace it really. Mm -hmm. Like, there's so many negative um, connotations about being female. If it is weak, you're emotional, hysterical, um, all these kind of things, stupid things. And then they give you some stupid explanations about why and you are weaker and da da da. And biologically, you are like supposed to be just at home and the kids and da da da. No, definitely not. And uh, I think uh, we women, we have, there's so much we could give and are, I mean, we always did give, so, we carry so much of the yes, weight of the world, yes, you know, yes, this wouldn't yes. even be happening without all these women like doing all these things in the background really mm -hmm. and don't get the attention and everything. And to me it's confusing because then they are now, nowadays it's like, um, yeah, more workforce, we have now everybody working, men and women, yeah, yeah. and why don't we work less? Because I mean, the workforce got bigger Mm -hmm. because of that and I think that would be a great point to now say like okay so let's everybody just work I don't know 20 hours a week and we can live with it and then men and women had more time to care about the family about the things they love about their friends um, do their music art whatever it is read just relax clean the apartments the kitchen doesn't clean itself <laughs> I, I haven't heard of that so I don't know, why didn't that change, you know? It's, uh, I don't really understand. And then we also have the whole industrialization, so many things, so many processes that should actually always the promise of less work. And always yeah. actually the fear again, the fear of less, less work. work. Oh my God, yes, and everybody's yeah, unemployed. Yeah, yeah but yeah. why don't change the system? That's, I was about to, to go there. So don't you think it will affect um, society as here, for example, in Austria, if we work less? Because what I notice as a foreigner, I'd say, here, Austria is very like worker bees. There, are, there are a lot. It's working. It's consistently working. If you don't, if you are not working, you're slacking. Yeah. Don't you think it will affect the society like a little bit if we all work less? I. Absolute. No, it would be to me. I and I'm sure there is. Um, people from economics who can like i don't know research they there is the research actually i'm sure and it's it would be possible and it was like um i mean people used to work so much more and when they changed the working hours to 60 hours and 40 hours whatever it was always nice nah, not possible but it is and i think it would be also no problem actually it's just a change in the system and i really believe that um it's Therefore, really important women go into politics and uh, into companies, are mm -hmm. CEOs of companies, mm -hmm. because they would think differently about things. And um, and it's slowly happening already. Mm -hmm. And I think we can get there. And there's also research a lot that um, efficiency often rises when you give people more freedom, flexibility in their work hours. And even like there's now companies who just say like, okay, we only do four, four days four a week, days a week yeah, and yeah, you get exactly. the same salary mm -hmm. and it's same, it's no problem because yeah, efficiency yeah. rises. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I really believe that because now we sit our 40 hours in the office and then people are just, uh, oh, I'm bored and, uh, and you waste a lot of time basically sitting there pretending to work kind of. <laughs> Instead of like really go there and work <laughs> and then you have a real free day. Yeah. That would be nice or something. And I think when more women get into politics and all these um, decision making, making positions, yeah, yeah, we really yeah. can change and I really hope uh, we go this way. And I hope so too. By the way, I completely agree with you. Working less and it's more efficient. Also because you know, that's all these, um, all the problems that we have now with um, with families, like why is it always the women who has to take care of, of the babies and stuff? And there's so few men who take uh, carence and all these things. And 
it's the responsibility of both parents and also you would have more time for your family, also for your parents when they grow old. Maybe you want to take care of them yourself and don't just mm -hmm. lock them away into some building and never see them again because oh, it's, mm, I don't want to deal with it because oh, it's reminding me of death and I don't want to think about that. No. And I pay 3,000 euro a month and That's both my parents are away and it's great. That's so sad. It's, it's sad. That's and so also sad. I think men are also grieving from mm -hmm. this because mm -hmm. they want to spend time with their babies. Mm -hmm. They want mm -hmm. to see the kids growing up. They don't want to be at work and working their ass off and be constantly scared of money. I don't think it's necessary. It could, could be different. Do you ever feel like she's lost herself? Bye.